we have uh, Julali uh, John. Uh, brother, my question is about a grown-up son living in the household, but he does not pray. What is the ruling in Islam about uh, continuing to let this uh, son uh, living uh, in the house uh, in spite of him not observing the Salah? Wallahi, Akhi al Karim, this is an issue of contemplation because a question like this, you don't have a one size that fits all. So it's not by default, anyone who does not pray, kick him out. Mm -hmm. Anyone who does not pray, start, start flogging him. Anyone who does not pray, do this or do that. It all revolves around al maslaha. What is the pros and cons? So some boys reprimanding them by not speaking to them for three days would do miracles. Some, if you take their Wi-Fi and their internet connection and their mobiles would make them, mashallah, one of the four Imams of Deen, maybe the fifth. <laughs> uh, some kids, if you take their uh, allowance or if you take their car keys, it's all yours. It's not all in your names. So it depends from one person to the other. Some just simple communication. We have a deficiency in the way we treat our own children. And I'm talking about myself. We always use commands. Did you do this? Do that. Why didn't you do this? When I'm angry, the first thing I ask my children, when I'm shouting at them, did you pray? Why, 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 why am I asking them about prayer if I'm reprimanding them about the homework or if I'm if I am shouting to, at them because they're fighting with one another? Because prayer comes now as a form of punishment. Allah. This is how the children feel and, and think. And this is my mistake. So I have to look into the roots of the problem. And the solution differs from people living in Pakistan where if a man reprimands his son by beating him up is totally legit and if he calls the cops they're going to come and join the father beating him up as well and it differs from the people in the states and if you just shout at your son your neighbors would call 911 and they'll take custody of your child so it differs from one situation to the other you have to be impartial you have to be objective. Look at the situation of your son. Judge it as an objective person, not as a parent. Okay, what should I do? What are the consequences of my action? If I take step one, what will happen? If I take step two, step three, and then you have to pray istikhara and pray to Allah and make dua to guide him and choose what is best. Uh, add to this, uh, Sheikhna, uh you know, living in the West, if, if you expel your child, he's going to go into the non-Muslim environment. There is no... More. Worse. It would, it's yeah. going to be worse. Maybe yeah. drugs, maybe yeah. prostitution. Yeah. Yeah. So his chance to come back is, is really uh, not there. Uh, 